Hey, what's up, guys? So, um, I'm back again with, um, the updated version of my Dragon Exodia deck. Whoa, man, I can barely even hear that. Anyway, so yeah, so I decided to give you an updated version of it. The one where I took out the Swift Scarecrows. I believe that this has no Swift Scarecrows. It's all updated and everything. So, um, and this actually, I don't think my last video I showed any FTKs for a reason, because I didn't want it to go over, like, 20 minutes. And this one, I think, might hit the 20 minute mark. <clears throat> I'll try to keep it under 20 minutes, but no promises. I haven't looked at it beforehand. So, yeah, I'm just essentially showing you the first round. I beat Prophecies. Actually, Prophecies are pretty easy to beat. But, um, I believe I'm protected because of the one day of peace. So, I've also got another one day of peace in my hand, so I'm good again. Uh, plus, I've got a trade in, which I can send a monster to the, um, send another monster to the grave. Excuse me, and then Pot of Avarice, I should have enough monsters. Oh, look at that, and I can bring back a Blue Eyes if I want to. And plus, I got two upstarts and another one day piece, so I'm good for another turn. So actually, I could, yeah, and I do, I bring back both Blue Eyes, because I've got two trade-ins, which is very rare. But, um, and I drew a Cards of Constance, which is good. And... Actually, I would not want to activate card destruction at this point, because there would be no advantage in it, really. So, send it back, see if I can get any more cards on that. Um, no, not really. So, and still not really. So, I'm protected because of one day piece, and Super Juve should yeah, give me like four cards. So, I can Super Rejuve again. Just make sure you don't over Super Rejuve, and by that I mean, for instance, if I had drawn six cards apiece, I would have drawn out. So just be careful of that. This deck is really fun and really easy to use once you learn it. But um, it's also easy to make mistakes in the beginning, which is the reason why a lot of people might not be drawn to this uh, in the very beginning. But first things first, um, one day of peace, you know, just because you need it, really. Um, but, you know, that's victory by the effect of exoding. So yeah, that was really fast. Seven turns. Actually, that's not that fast compared to the rest of the times that I've won with this deck. But seven turns is kind of fast to win, period, I guess. Unless you just swarm the field first turn or something. But, uh, yeah, so I'm, you know, filtering Tune Table of Contents. I did actually update my deck, so I'll show that in a different video, where I added the Neospatian Grand Mole. I never finished my conversation with that. But the reason why he's really good is because sometimes they like to Monster Reborn my piece of Exodia to their side of the field. So if I Neospatian Grand Mole, I attack it, it'll return it to its hand, but since it was my card, it'll return it to my hand, which is really nice, because I don't even have to activate Dark Factory if I were to, like, Dark Hole it or something. I can just straight up, you know, bring it back to my hand. And it also is really good to get rid of Shien, so he can stop doing his annoying ability to negate my spells, obviously. This deck doesn't run traps, so... Oh, this is the Final Countdown guy. I'm not sure why he's running Final Countdown. I guess it's for fun, but he can't win often enough for it to actually be fun. I mean, if you're going to run an instant win, run Herakti or Exodia. More people would run Exodia, obviously. I do have a Herakti deck, and I'll show that in a later video, where I FTK twice. But, um, it, that deck is more about luck than anything. And, um... But Final Countdown, it's just about stalling. If you're going to stall, run a stall Exodia deck, like I did. It's it's a lot simpler, in my opinion. But I did not know that he had Lava Golem in his hand, so forgive me for putting two monsters on the field. <clears throat> but it doesn't matter, because I win in, like, the next turn or so. Wow, this actually took me 11 turns to win. I guess that's because he's running stall as well, and I'm not used to running against people who stall. Oh, that faggot. This guy kept running dark bribes. I didn't like that at all. But, um, I'm just trying to run through this as quickly as possible. I'm trying to show as many, um, deck types that this thing can run against. I think I've showed it... Maybe I haven't shown it yet, but this thing can win against Dark Worlds, it can win against Quasar, it can win against Final Countdown, it can win against Prophecy, and it can win against Chaos. It's very nice for that reason. Um, so I've got four pieces of Exodia, and there you go. I only had to draw one more card, and that's all I could draw from one of the Super Rejuves. So.
so yeah it's a really nice deck it's really fast I know I keep saying that but I have to say something because I've still got like another 15 minutes of video to go through so I'm gonna go through get my blue eyes tune dragon for trade in that's the reason why this combo is really good and oh look at that cards of constants and because of white stone of legend well I drew it anyway but the trade in for that so that's really nice and then I hand destruct because I can and then I can hand destruct again try to go through my deck fast enough and um, then I've got enough monsters in the grave that I can activate pot of avarice go through it again oh and this is the guy that I think he summons Dolka instead of Lagia. I don't know what he was thinking. But, I mean, I had two one days apiece anyway. So, I would have been safe no matter what. But still, you always summon Lagia first. Especially, I guess he thought my face down monster was... Uh, um, a Sangan maybe? Maybe that's what he thought it was. So he summoned Dolka and destroyed my piece of Exodia. <clears throat> but I always summon Logia first. I mean, if I were running a Dino Rabbit. I don't run Dino Rabbit, though. Um, trade it in. Do it again. Get pieces of Exodia. Upstart. Man, this deck is just really good. Now, now I can Dark Factory. Yeah, get that piece of Exodia, because now I can just Dark Factory. Get that other piece of Exodia from the Grave, obviously. Um... And then cards of consonants. There you go. It's game. I mean, I only have three cards left, and that's my fourth turn. Yeah, this is really this deck is really fast when um, when it needs to be, unless your opponent's running stalls. Um, it, it just gets a little slower. You'll still win, but it's just slower. Oh, okay. I take that back. This isn't my completely updated deck because I took out the Swift Scarecrows, but I'm still running Dark World Dealings. So I took out the three Dark World Dealings. Don't ask me what I replace them with, because <laughs> I don't know. Um, oh, I'm still running Dark Hole. What the hell? Okay, well... Um, I will be sure that in my next video, I post an, a really updated version of it. Even the one that still has the Grand Spatian Mole. Or Neo Grand Space Neo Spatian Grand Mole. But don't worry. Um, you can modify this deck in any way that you want, any shape or form, and it pretty well will kick ass no matter what you do. Yeah. So, I mean, it's really nice. This guy was running in, oh my gosh, this was the guy running Infernities. God, I hate Infernities. So the whole point, of course, is to get rid of all your cards in your hand, which is what he does, because that's when Infernities become really powerful. Um... And he tries to attack me. I think I activated one day of peace. I don't know why I played piece of Exodia face down. Because obviously I would be fucked. Because he uses an effect that destroys my face down. Yeah, see? Right there. But whatever. So. God, why is this little thing in the way? I can't see where my right two cards are. Anyway. Yeah, so I actually win in this turn right here. Because I try to dark hole him, because I want him to use his Infernity Barrier, which I didn't know he had, but I thought he might have something that, yeah, and he, I knew he had something that would negate, so I wanted him to waste it on that. And now you just pretty well wait, hope for him to activate something during his turn so I can chain the um, Bring Back Soldier. What is it called? Backup Soldier. Bring Back Soldier? What the hell was I thinking? Okay, and that was his mistake, because bam, bring back two pieces and a Flamville Guard. And that's game, pretty much. Yeah, obviously this is still an old deck, because <laughs> I don't run Backup Soldier anymore. I was originally thinking about running Emergency compuls evacuation, Compulsory Evacuation Device, I think that's what it's called. Um, but it's a trap, so instead I run Neo Grants. Neo, the, you know, the mole dude. That dude. So yeah, he's really good. I like him a lot. And I get a blue eyes, baby. Give me that shit. Trade it in. And uh, filter my deck. This is really good. I run three of them rather than tune, two, two, ta two, two tune table of contents. 
because um, you want to get it ASAP so you can filter your deck really fast. And plus, if necessary, it can always be a dead card in your hand and you can use it for hand destruction's effect. Doesn't really matter. And uh, yeah, I've got Dark Factory and Magical Stone. Magical Stone is so good for this deck because it causes you to discard. So a lot of the times I try to discard dragons for Super Rejuve to bring back Dark Factory so I can bring back pieces of Exodia or something like that. It's really nice. Um, one day of peace, thank you. Thank you. Protect me for a turn. Upstart. Ooh, cards of consonance. So I can bring back a piece of Exodia and Flamvel. Go into it again. Yep, there you go. Oh, I've got another Dark Factory. So yeah, I hand destruct for a couple useless cards. Um, yeah. So one day of peace again. Yeah, I try to end it right here, right now. So... Yeah, I end my... Ooh, I got lucky. I got really lucky, because I did not count how many dragons I discarded. If I had discarded more than three, I would have lost. But just remember that. That's the whole point of these videos. They're not just commentaries. They're tutorials. Sort of help you learn, and also help me at the same time, because, you know, one of the greatest powers of tutoring is you teach yourself as well, which is great. I love it. Um, so, yeah. A tune table of contents, because it helps you filter your deck. Because I've got cards of contents anyway, so... I know I got two easy cards for that. Oh, and a trade-in. Yeah, that's very nice. Uh, upstart. Yeah, what the... Okay, yeah. Bring that back, because I can trade it in again. Um, helps with the Rejuve, plus I've got Pot of Avarice. Might as well see what I can get. Uh, if I get anything good. One day of peace again. So, yeah, bring back Dark Factory. Not right now, Mama! Okay, love you! Yeah, so, um... <laughs> Yep, see, there you go. Draw a crap ton of cards. Draw another crap ton of cards. Oh, yeah, and um, really great to be able to chain to that. And that's it. You win, pretty much. Because you can chain to it, let's say that my second rejuvenation would have killed me. If you chain with hand destruction and you draw the right number of cards, it'll activate first in the chain, obviously, because you chained. Um, which is really nice. And this guy, I, I think he was trying to be cool and everything. I didn't mind the fact that he was running banned cards. Because... I'm running Deep Draw Exodia. If I do this fast enough, then it doesn't matter. Why does it say turn three already? I guess he couldn't do anything first turn? I don't know. Whatever. So thankfully, he um, has really shitty cards. So that way, he's not able to kill me in the first turn. So yeah, that's really nice of him. Um, so yeah, Pot of Duality. Hopefully, I get something that I can use. Tune Table of Contents might as well. So I've got Trade In. So, it all s it starts with one card, and then it goes from there, pretty well. Yeah. Um, shit. And my turn. <laughs> That's all I can do, draw two cards. One, two. Okay, that's good for next turn. If he doesn't kill me in this turn, which obviously he doesn't, because that's the reason why I saved this video, um, I get one day of peace, so that's really good. And I need something really good from One Day of Peace, and I don't really get it. But it's okay. Maybe for next turn. This is a really bad hand that you see right here. But the point of this is to show you, even against Dark Worlds or what... Ah, fuck. Even against really crappy stuff with your hand, you can still pull it off, baby. You can still pull it off. Oh, wow, I still have Blue Eyes left in my deck. Yeah, so discard shit that you don't need. Trade it in, baby! Oh, yeah, one day of peace, also. Trade it in, baby! And then just keep going through the process. I've got cards of consonants. Draw more cards. Um, just keep going through your deck. Filter it out until you draw what you need. And I've got Pot of Avarice just in case if I, you know, had my head in the grave. Had my head in the grave looking for stuff, yeah. 
Man, I love this music. Okay, and that's it. Yeah, because I knew the head was somewhere in there. So, perfect combination, baby. Oh yeah. Um. So sometimes if you would draw out because of a card, for instance, rejuvenation, and you've got a pot of avarice, it's really nice to be able to put five cards in, and then you would draw three cards. So you're essentially putting three cards back in, which can sometimes save you. So that's another reason why Pot of Avarice is a really, really good card. And um, got Super Rejuve, because you can bring back one day of peace, evidently. Activate Super Rejuve. Let's go back two cards. Oh, that's good, because now I've got one day of peace and a Cards of Consonance with a Tuna. So that's pretty good. This guy, I don't know what he's running. Um, doesn't really matter. I know how to pick him, I guess. I don't know. <clears throat> so, upstart. Yep. Ups oh, man. I, I, I t have a tendency to upstart into upstarts. Which is really crazy. And then send those two. Because now I can activate Pot of Avarice. Um, if I wanted to, that is. Although I can Magical Stone send both that and that for another one day. Pot of Avarice. Yeah, always bring back your one day of peace if possible. Unless you know that you've got something else in your hand to save you. It's always good to one day. And then end my turn and then Super Juve. Because I should draw like three cards. Two cards. Well, fuck you two, game. But yeah. So that's really nice. I've got Dark Factory. Because I can bring back a Flame... Oh, or just draw into a Flame Bell Guard. Either one. Oh, that was a really sweet draw. Wow, really, really sweet draw, in fact. Oh, really, really sweet draw, in fact. Oh, really, really sweet draw, in fact. Okay, that was just, like, super lucky, dude. I will admit that. And then just Dark Factory to bring back the last piece from my graveyard. And there you go, five turns, man. That's just... That's just awesomeness. I mean, I, I don't know if I would run this in a tournament. Um... I might actually now, now that I have sped it up a lot, because I've FTK. I this actually might be an FTK right here. I'm not sure. Oh, okay, obviously not, because I just <laughs> ended my turn. Um, <clears throat> but that's all right. Oh, two whole cards. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I got man, this little thing is in my way, and I can't see what cards I have. I think a blue eyes and a Tune blue eyes. Excuse me. But anyway, um. Yep, just card destruct all the way, son. Draw new cards. Oh, right, super rejuvenation. That's really good because. Well. Um. I mean, I just discard a crap ton of monsters, obviously. So I discard both tuners, I believe. Yeah, so that way I can use his effect to get out. Watch him curl it. Yeah, upstart. And, um, trade it in! And then I can activate Dark Factory, so, because I've got Cards of Constance, which is good. So, discard it. Alright! Alright! Um, Dark Factory again, so I can do it again. Because I'm going to draw a lot of cards for, um, Super Rejuve, obviously. One day of peace again. Oh, that's good. So, Pot of Avarice, put it all back. So that way I can draw a crap. Oh, because the head of Exodia is in the grave. Yeah, that's why. Hand Destruct for two useless cards. Don't draw what I need, but that's okay. Because Super Rejuvenation should have me draw it. Because I. Sh yeah, there you go. I drew six cards because of that. You always want to keep track, though. Unfortunately, if you're dueling with this deck in real life, you do have to keep track yourself. Because you don't have an automatic dueling system keeping track for you of how many. Mo dragons you discard. And this is a really, really good hand right here. Because you just drew one day of peace. And another upstart. And cards of consonants to bring out blue eyes. That's really good. And another cards of consonants. Wow, this is an amazing hand. Like, truly, man. Truly. And then magical stone excavation so you can bring back another one to do it again. And plus, you'll have the ability for super juve to do it again. So, draw a shit ton of cards. 
Uh huh. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Oh yeah. And then uh, hand destruct. You might as well get rid of two useless cards. And then hand destruct again to get rid of another two useless cards. And that's game. That is an FTK right there, if you were wondering, because I went first. And that guy's just looking at me like, holy shit. But yeah, so that's pretty much it. I hope y'all enjoyed it. I will bring y'all some more Exodia videos in the future. But in the meantime, you know, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, whatever, just leave it there. And I will talk to y'all later. So thanks for watching. See ya.